Hey folks, it's time for another custom lesson. This one has been requested by one of my Twitch viewers. If you didn't know, I do stream on Twitch, so you can check me out on there. And now for the self-advertising. So, it was requested by Onino Miru, and he wanted to pair fists with Tonfa with some very specific soul cores. So let's get onto what those cores are at first. And starting with the guardian spirit that was asked to be put on was Nekomata. This is like your de facto ninjutsu guardian spirit. Why? Because it has anima bonus ninjutsu hit. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You can generate a ton, especially if you're a big fan of feather cancels or just any ninjutsu cancels whatsoever. You'll get so much anima back, it's dirty. And if you pair this with Marishiten's Grace or Marishi's Grace, whatever it's called, then you basically have an infinite anima generator and it's just absolutely stupid. So this is one of the very few setups that I would say you do not need to boost your soul cores whatsoever. You can just use base rank, plug and play, and you're good to go. Now, other things that Nekomata has is the fact that Yokai ability damage for the Feral type is boosted, so you do want to get all of your cores to be the blue color, because that's a Feral type. What's nice is that you get extended burst counter Feral as well, which makes that awesome. You're safer, which is great. Now, let's get on to the Soul Core, starting with one of the quick cancel cores, Maelstrom Oni B, which was specifically requested. I didn't bother ranking it up. All I cared for was the Yokai ability key pulls. I would recommend you boost it because if you are going to be using this core, being able to get damage off of any elemental attack, so that is fire, water, or lightning, getting some anima back is great. But yeah, it's a very fast animation and can make weapon play seem super fluid. And I'll showcase more about that a bit later. Next is Kiryoki. This is yet another very fast core. It is a fan favorite. In fact, you might <laughs> end up leaning on it really hard. It costs five, it's a very fast animation, and does a great amount of key damage. It's arguably a little overtuned, but I don't think anyone's going to complain. So it's really good, and I'll showcase more about that a bit later. But yeah, it's awesome. But now I'm going to show you a soul core I decided to go absolutely bonkers on. So if you want to see a soul core that I think is ridiculously powerful, not even just base power wise like kasha on its own is a super damage dealer it's it's really awesome it has very little downsides and yeah you want to know what makes it crazier guess what anima charge bonus amrit the gauge double a adding more max yokai ability key damage because kiryoki needs more key damage <laughs> And this thing will generate so much life back. And on top of that, you move faster. So if you want to be psychotic like me, go ahead, try this out. But it is not necessary. You can just use whatever Kasha you find, boost it up as you see fit, and you'll be good to go. This is just pure luxury. This is pure excess. That's my point. And you're going to see that you just don't need to worry about anima at all with this setup. So getting on to the secondary guardian spirit, we have Baku, which was specifically requested. And two out of these three cores were requested. And so I figured, hey, let's just have some fun with it. Now, the first one that was requested was Ryomen Sukuna. Ryomen Sukuna is a massive power play, power play, can inflict confusion and does a ton of damage. It is not be underestimated and if you're a fan of Onryo magic as well i'm sure you've seen it in a past lesson if you take advantage of this you get a ton of anima back now i'll showcase it with ninjutsu hopefully i can showcase it here uh, otherwise i'll just showcase it uh in the gameplay part but yeah it's pretty wild and if you pair i guess using sukuyomi's grace you can get a bunch back but you're really this is about ninjutsu anyway but this is great it's super awesome. Do not underestimate it. Pick whatever stats you want because this is one of the very few cores, if not the only core, that has two anima bonuses locked together. So super, super good. Next that was requested was Underworld Soldier. As you can see, I didn't boost the rank up, but I would recommend you do. At max rank, I think it's around like 3, 3.3 3 anima bonus, which is nuts. We have a lot of anima bonuses and a lot of anima charge. So yeah, and then on top of that, the last one that I chose because I was just messing around with things. And since I was going for a quick theme with Fist and Tonfa, I was like, what makes things fast? Feel fast. Abrad Soldier, it's fast. So look, yet another anima bonus. All I cared for is the Yokai ability key pulse. This time I didn't bother ranking it up, but let's just go through the anima bonuses that are native to these cores. We have anima bonus for timely guard. We have it for confusing an enemy, hitting with Onmyo Magic, getting a grapple, by default anima charge, and then if we go to Nekomata, if you're a big fan of ninjutsu cancels, 
<laughs> you get a ton of anima that way. Anima bonus elemental attack. Here I just picked whatever I wanted. So you don't really have one here, but it's not a big deal. And then I have a crazy anima charge bonus, which you don't need. But just, just natively, you have access to like four, five, wait, let's count this. Uh, natively, you have one, you got two, all right? And then three, four, five, six, seven. What the heck? I have seven different anima bonuses. Just naturally seven different ones that's crazy so you're not going to be anima starved which means you have a lot more freedom when it comes to your special effects and yeah this is pretty crazy it's it's a lot of fun so let me just review the soul cores in action so you're familiar with what you are working with so i'll talk about the pros and cons of each the showcase kasha before i do anything else i'm going to get my controller out so as a reminder i am testing the animation recovery time, whatever you want to call it, after a soul core subsides to see how soon can my character act. So let's see with Kasha. How soon will I block? Pretty quickly. And Kasha is free to go. And as you can see, it kind of just bounces everywhere. It does its own thing. So yeah, it has a mind of its own. One downside with Kasha is that you cannot use all their soul cores no matter what. Doesn't matter what you're doing. You can't use it. So Kasha is a very long animation and you got to stick to it. So if you want to use uh, things beforehand you should so let's say you're like oh man i want to use an oni b well make sure you use the oni b before and then you can throw out kasha as oni b is finished so bear that in mind now i gotta wait for kasha to disappear all right so what about oni b how fast are we talking really fast all right there is a bit of delay between you being able to sequence them so you have to wait for the animation to finish but in terms of being able to respond weapon wise so here it's quite remarkable so yeah, you'll have a lot of fun. An application of this could be, hey, I want to switch weapons and don't want to have delay between flash attacks. Uh, please do a flash attack. So then you can sequence into whatever you like. So it can feel pretty awesome. Definitely a lot of fun to mess around with. Next we have karaoke. Let's see that downtime. Ready? Very little. So it's a very fast animation with a nice solid shockwave. This shockwave is killer. It is so good. Now let's go to Brute Guardian Spirit starting with the Reomen. How soon can I respond? A little earlier compared to when the animation itself finishes. You'd be very surprised. There is a startup, but once it starts hitting, you can do some pretty crazy things. So let me just showcase a quick example. That's pretty fast. It's not bad at all. So yeah, it's it's very powerful. What about Underworld Soldier? Underworld Soldier, there are two ways that this can work. It is a long animation, and it doesn't have the most downtime. Aberrant Soldier, on the other hand, you can cancel so quickly. It's pretty nuts. So you'll have a lot of fun with all sorts of quick cancel cores. Let's showcase some yokai shift possibilities before I progress to some crazy combinations of things that you can do because yeah there's a lot you can do with fist tonfa this is like superb pressure all right let's deplete your key please all right let's pop yokai shift now baku does paralyze aberrant ooh 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 be extra with Realman. Oh, things are dead. <laughs> I didn't really get to showcase it. Uh, Baku doesn't paralyze as quickly in normal games unless uh, you're dealing with specific enemies, but it's pretty rad. Ooh, ooh. Let's go. Super confusion. Look at that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah, you have, a lot, you have a lot of stuff you can do. It's pretty wild, I'm not even gonna lie. Now, what about Nekomata? Let's have some fun with this one. I will say you'll lean on... <laughs> These cards are ridiculous. You'll kind of just lean on everything straight up. All right, let's defeat your key, please. Look at that key damage, dude. All right, let's go. So for Nekomata, I would advise getting a little distance. Nice. Oh, dead. Super dead. So yeah, here, you can watch Nekomata's animation. So yeah, I, I like to make a little distance. 
See, that kind of works too. So here, I'll showcase it. Nekomata with a little distance. Into that. Nice, right? Let's go! Oh, oh. 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 Oh, super dead. So yeah, you've... You got a lot of pressure plays with all your all your tools. It is straight up ridiculous. Now, <laughs> let me showcase something about Underworld Soldier in case you're not aware of it. So Underworld Soldier really works well against humans, and it pretty much just has one default animation if it is going to go for a grapple, which is this. You have a lot of down. You have a lot of time to act freely, as in post animation. So let's see how soon I block right after this. Pretty soon, right? Even before the full animation finishes. Wee wee! All right, let's kill this guy. Sweet. Now, what about if it doesn't get the grapple? Then what happens? How soon can we respond? Let's find out. So you get a slightly different animation with roughly the same amount of time. Oh, boo. So I'll showcase that again. Let's bring up Tonfa just for demonstration's sake. So yeah, that's that's Underworld Soldier. So overall, these are really fast. And you'll have a lot of fun tinkering with them. For real? Oh, whatever, dude, die. So yeah, it's these are all really fast. And Fist and Tonfa are pretty fast, so you'll find yourself just destroying your enemies. Let me showcase some things that are possible with Fist and Tonfa. There are literally endless combinations that you can have. These weapons are really good at doing a lot of key damage and maintaining significant pressure against humans. So you're not really going to have trouble. And when you mix them in together with all sorts of soul cores and quick animation cancels, it just feels extra dirty. Straight up. You're just doing tons of hits. Basically, you don't want enemies to have key use this combination, right? But the one weakness is, and many of you probably won't really notice the weakness, is simply that you need to be close to your targets at all times. You do have maybe a few things to assist you, like karaoke, which will assist, and you've got Kasha, which I'm not going to bring out. And you do have Kasha, which can greatly assist you in terms of like, hey, I need to take a little breather, but for the most part, you want to have non-stop pressure, and that's exactly what most of these cores will do. So let's just showcase this against the Yoki, since I find that uh, Yokai are a little trickier for this combination. Not too much more, but it's a little trickier than humans who basically can't do jack squat. So let's beat them to a pulp. Like I said, it's not, maybe not too noticeable for some of you, but in all honesty, You'll notice it against like crazier yokai like Itsumade or say Fuki or Suiki or whatever, you know? So you just have to pay attention to that. Against yokai you'll have a little bit more trouble, but you've got access to a lot of elements and so it can be quite rad. Of course, if you are comfortable with Opportunist, it helps quite a bit. Alright, let's go. Look at that animation, man. Isn't that fluid? So yeah, it's just, it's just non-stop crap. It's just literally non-stop crap. Um, combinations of things that I specifically like. I like the fact that the Tomfa flash attack is really quick, personally. Simply because it is effectively near instant. And there is a little bit of lag time, but as you know, what I'm going to say is use a soul core. You can use Oni B. You can use... You can use the Aberrant Soldier. You need a Gap Closer. You've got this. You have many, many different options. Heck, just try it with... Try this. It's already pretty fast. <laughs> Let's try it against a human. So what I'm going to do is just a couple of fist attacks, and then Tomfa Flash, use the Burst into Aberrant. Look at that. Oh. I mean, this is just, this is crazy. I can push them back with the Tonfa grapple and then use Kiryoki to catch them off guard. Let's show something else. There's like endless combinations here. 
Alright, what do we got? Oh, you're, you're just gonna die, right? Yeah, you're just gonna die. So, maybe Kasha doesn't help with the combo aspect as much as the killing aspect, but I don't think anyone's gonna complain. Alright, let's try Timely Guard into a Kiryoki. Let's hop. Oh, isn't that nice? I mean, do you want your enemies to have no key? This works. Oh yeah, and I also haven't been using ninjutsu, so it's 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 super dirty. Um, I I don't. I'll try to showcase some ninjutsu use in terms of how much anime you can get back, but I highly doubt I'll be able to show it. So I'll try it like once or twice. This work. Well, that was a lot of anime I got back, and no, I don't think that's because of the dojo either. Um, what can work? What's the high cost? Alright, let's try Kiryoki. Piercing Void. <laughs> it's a lot. Imagine with double feather cancels. It is super dirty. I won't use them because I want to focus a bit more on the melee aspects of things, but yeah, this is... it's pretty crazy. You're pretty much in the face of your opponents at all times, doing all sorts of attacks, having non-stop pressure pr plays, and yeah, you, you gotta play to that strength. Non-stop action. So yeah, I, I don't really, I, I don't think I can showcase too many combos because I would be here for probably like another hour. Let's see if I can think of maybe one more thing. Um, honestly, I <laughs> I'm struggling to think of one. All right, let's see what I can think of. Uh, all right, all right, I know what I can show. Emphasis on a, I know what I can try to show. So let's do flying, I think it's flying fist, right? Oh, there you go. And then let's go back in, and let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. I mean, I'm just stringing things together at this point. Uh, let's switch right over, oh, it's dead. I don't have enough time to combo. Well, let's try it against the human, and this guy's just gonna be dead. Here, I'll give you an opportunity. Attack, please. Attack, attack. Oh, yes, you attacked. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, you're dead. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine when you mess around with this. This is super fast, and I haven't really tapped into ninjutsu, which if you do, it just elevates the power of this even crazier. So I think I've talked enough, and let's just get on to the gameplay showcase. I will see you guys in a bit. All right, it's time to show what all this is about. So the scroll of the dam that I've picked involves Fuki, Suiki, and Nightmare Bringer. Truth be told, I don't really get to showcase as much as I'd like because these enemies die before I can really mess with them. That's because the Soul Cores with all this pressure is just immensely powerful. I wanted to showcase some like cool dodges against Fuki's burst attacks, but that just didn't happen. Instead, you're going to see what happens here. I get him low on key. And here, I'll just, why don't I just shut up for like a brief second what you see. So look at this, bonk, dead. Yeah, that just happened. So a super power play that showcases the advantages of Ryom and Sukuna and quick actions afterwards. Now here, I want you to pay attention to my anima bar. Three to 13. <laughs> anima bonus ninjutsu hit, my friends. That's how crazy powerful it can be. So if you're a big fan of double, double feather cancels or any ninjutsu cancels, it can be crazy. And then I've used Kasha to inflict fire. I've got corrupted weapons, so she's confused. There's basically nothing she can do in the face of all this pressure. So all I gotta be mindful of is just how much, just mindful of my key. Just make sure not to run out of key and that's it. Now I'll just showcase more things that I can do that's kind of exemplifies how this setup can work when you're just kind of need a break from kicking butt with fists and tampas because it can be very tiring to be in the face of your enemies non-stop for an extended period of time. So having that jutsu as something to fall back upon and using Kasha to just murder things certainly can give you that much needed break you'll have. Because against enemies like say it's Amade, it's a little tricky to stay there in front of their faces. Speaking of enemies that you need to kind of stay in the face of at all times, we've got Nightmare Bringer. So Nightmare Bringer is immune to fire, water, and lightning, which means the only element I can rely upon is corruption. I don't have purity at my disposal, so this can be quite tricky. And Nightmare Bringer basically attacks all the time. There's very, very little downtime he ever has, and this is only remedied by the fact that he has some long-ish animations, but this is a constant battle 
but you're pushing the front while he's attacking so I personally enjoy it compared to other fights and that's why I picked this as opposed to like a human boss in which Fist Tanfa basically will shut them down. But you gotta pay attention Nightmare Bringer. And here's something of note. When he's out of max key, you can see I'm just wailing upon him. You have like several seconds when he's fully depleted uh, out of key to like hit him. I think I want to say five to seven seconds, which can be pretty rad. Here I try to showcase Yokai Shift, but I'm already kind of neutered because I cannot take advantage of the elemental properties of my character. So instead, I pretty much am just reliant upon just raw base damage of abilities and all sorts of melee attacks. And as you can see, I didn't make the best use of it, but not to worry, I got a lot of power out of that, which is pretty cool. And then back to the game plan, which is gonna be stick to his sides, try to hit his limbs when they're glowing, and just stay in the action. It can be quite difficult to see what's happening, which is exactly what happens here. So beyond infinity, I'm not able to get the perfect one simply because it's just hard to tell what's going on, you know? You got this big centaur right in front of me and then all sorts of effects happening, so it can just be difficult to figure out. Nonetheless, I'm switching between the weapons. You pretty much see me non-stop attacking using all my cores because I pretty much have to. Um, that burst attack, by the way, if it succeeds in any way, shape, or form, even if you get rid of the tornadoes, you'll have confusion on you, which can kind of suck. So continuing onwards, it's just I'm literally going for the non-stop pressure as much as I can, just over and over and over again. Inflict all the key damage, attack all the time, use all the soul cores, and you can do that. So taking a break, uh, while it would be helpful, it doesn't really work the best against Nightmare Bringer because he basically gives you no quarter whatsoever. And yeah, let's just see how I finish this up. I believe, yeah, I just used the Beyblade and that's pretty much it. So even though I didn't get the elemental application off, I did get the kill, which is great. In any case, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was enjoyable and I will see you guys in the next video, right? I hope so. Please, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.